everyone, it's Jordan. In this video, I'm showing you three simple but pretty DIYs. The first one is this embroidered t-shirt. So just go in your closet and find any old t-shirt and you'll need some embroidery floss, a needle, and the hoop is optional. Sketch a few designs to figure out what you actually want to embroider on your t-shirt. I ended up going with this little bee design. Then just sketch your drawing onto your t-shirt and I just used a regular ballpoint pen for this. I decided to use an embroidery hoop just to make the stitching a little bit easier. Then thread your needle and tie a knot at the end and you're ready to start sewing. So I just did a basic running stitch for the entire design. You can stick to the basics like I did, or if you know some more advanced embroidery stitches, you can try those out. It's totally up to you and however you want your design to look. I love embroidering t-shirts to give as gifts to my friends, and they always appreciate getting something handmade. My second DIY is this star sign painting. You'll need a canvas of some sorts and some paints. I found this wooden frame at AC Moore and thought it would be perfect for this project. So I just chose a color to paint the entire frame. And then you can look up the constellation for your star sign and use a tiny paintbrush to paint that onto your canvas. Of course, I had to add some glitter, but you guys can decorate your canvas however you want. This is another DIY that is perfect to give as a gift, especially a birthday gift. Or you can just make it for your own room like I did. My last DIY is this little sparkly trinket dish. So you'll need some air dry clay which you can find at any craft store and take a small handful of that and start kneading it out into a circle. Then take a bowl to use as a mold and place your clay circle on top and press it into the bowl. Use an X-Acto knife to cut off the edges and make them smooth and even. Let that dry overnight and then you can carefully peel it off of the bowl and you're ready to paint it. After giving it a coat of paint, I added my favorite gold and silver star confetti. And then I sealed that in with some Mod Podge. I sprinkled a little bit of glitter on top and then sealed it with one more coat of Mod Podge. And that's it! Now you're ready to display all of your little jewels and trinkets. I hope you guys enjoyed these DIYs. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.